So the first question is, is your country secular, and what does that mean for you? Well, I am a lawyer, so I have to say that due to constitution, uh, Serbia is a secular uh, uh, state. But from the point of view of state of mind, Serbia is not a secular state, and mainstream in Serbia is some kind of clericalism. Maybe it's not tough clericalism, but the church is very important in Serbia, and church is the institution which couldn't be said, and one shouldn't say that church is completely separate from the state. So we are now living political life where church is really dictated some conditions, some, uh, well, moral and value system and church is the institution which is asked for everything here in Serbia. So I can say that due to the constitution, formally speaking, uh, we have proclamation that church is separate from the state, but in the practice church is a very influential one and our political and daily lives really, life really depends on the uh, church opinion uh, and church as an institution. So it's very important in Serbia who will be the patriarch and who will be that uh, members of Synod of Serbian Orthodox Church and it is very tough institution. Thank you. Have there been changes in the past 10 years or so on the nature of secularism in Serbia? And what do you think are the political forces that have driven these changes? Uh, them? Well, unfortunately, uh, church from the beginning of the 90s uh, is playing a very important role in Serbia. During the war in former Yugoslavia, the role of, Ser of Serbian Orthodox Church was very bad. And they were supported this a greater Serbia project and Serbian nationalism and they are defending Serb national interest from all different sides and they defended uh, the crimes committed in the name of Serbs in the name. Uh, uh, in, uh, uh, well, they defended that or denied that. I don't know how to explain very precisely in this short time. but. Um, after the 2000s, in the last 10 years, I think that the role of church is more and more important because uh, opposition in Serbia, uh, Milosevic, uh, opposition of parties during Milosevic period, there are also right-wing parties from the point of view of church and uh, uh, religion. And uh, after the changes in 2000, the role of church was uh, more visible and they became more influential because church accepted the changes church uh, accepted the changes after 2000 as a way how to uh, rehabilitate uh, itself from the period of communists so they were against milosevic as a communist not against milosevic as a nationalist not against milosevic as a uh, a political leader who was leading the war, they were against Milosevic and still against Milosevic as uh, a communist, if they're against him. So I think that the role of church in Serbia today is bigger than it used to be due, even during the wars. So how is this increased clericalization of society and the decrease of secularism in Serbia, uh, how does it affect women? And what actions are women in Serbia taking to counteract? Uh -huh. I can't speak in the name of women. I'm familiar with women in black are doing. So they're acting, they're very active against that. They're very active in this, uh, uh, in promotes the value system and promoting secularism. And uh, they're very active against the patriarch of, uh, model of living. And uh, as a woman, as an artist, I think uh, that I belong to minority, uh, to discriminated minority, because it's not popular, it's not mainstream, and it's not good in Serbia today to say that you're uh, an atheist, because it's not, uh, it's not your opinion, it's not qualified uh, as opinion, it's bad qualification for you. So atheists are sports, uh, 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 sports in Serbia, as uh, an enemies of God, as uh, 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 devils, as people who are against the decent society, decent family, uh, decent wife, decent children, and uh, 
well, it's not good to be an activist. And women are very active, uh, women in black especially very active uh, in this promotion of secular state against caliberization of the society and the state. And they're very active in breaking this patriarchal model of life, which is dominate, still dominating Serbia. The politician in this country uh, showing his lo uh, patriot, uh, uh, pa uh, patriotism and uh, their loyalty to the state and to the nation by crossing himself all the time publicly. Mm -hmm. And they really think that it is, if someone is a believer, uh, that, that it is so intimate act that uh, it shouldn't be a public demonstration of your uh, belonging to the church. So. Uh, I uh, I am I am watching what's going on in Serbia today. That every single decent politician, even decent politician, are using that crossing to expose their loyalty to the church and to the state. So, in a way, from my point of view, it's not theoretical speech. It's my personal. It is the message which is sent that Serbia is not a secular state. So you must be a believer and you must believe to, to the God and you must identify yourself with the Serbian Orthodox Church if you want to be good citizens of these states. And that's not good. That is the message which is sent every single day to the, to the citizens of Serbia. Have there been any, um, you said that legally speaking, technically, Serbia is secular. Have there been any legal changes recently that, that have eroded the secularism? Uh, well, there is uh, the, 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 the religion is introduced in, in schools, but several years ago, unfortunately, during Zoran Djindic period, because he wanted to be too attra attractive against this. Uh, well, movement in Serbia oh, and. Uh, uh, it is something which is also, uh, I, I have no data, but I have no information how many people are going to the religion in school, but it is stepped down from my point of view, and I think that, uh, that religion in school is uh, something which uh, puts Serbia back to the, to the, to, to, to the some kind of clericalism. Um, in terms of where it's originating from? Why do you think there is more popular support for this, for these expressions of religion, for the strengthening of the church? Why? How is? How are they getting their power to do that? I I don't know. I think that it is uh, well that we are suffering like old post-communist and uh, state that we are suffering uh, the consequences of. Uh, uh, breaking with the past in the wrong way. <laughs> so in Serbia, it's still dominate way of thinking that we have to break our past with communist per period and everything which belongs from their point of view to communism, that means secularism, must be changed. So uh, church is stronger and stronger uh, and it is also my personal opinion uh, the consequence of this uh, very tough anti-communist movement in Serbia today and uh, uh, making distance and discontinuity to everything which belongs to so-called communist period. So the role of church is uh, uh, stronger and stronger. I'm Professor Ljubiša Rajč at the University of Belgrade teaching Scandinavian studies uh, during the last 30 years at the one of the biggest departments in Europe. But I'm engaging, very engaged in political life in Serbia and I have been cooperating with women in black during a very, many, many years because I, well, I mean, they do just good work. Most of that is very good. So our first question about secularism in your country is, is your country secular? And what does that mean for you? Not anymore. Uh, during the last years, mostly during the last eight to ten years, the church, especially Serbian Orthodox Church, has penetrated all fields of the, uh, our common and public life in the schools, incorporated into educational system, into state. Some years ago, our state president was traveling to 
together with Patriarch to uh, Moscow uh, leading uh, church and state delegation. First, after a trade protest from our side, he changed it to state delegation with Patriarch together with him. And that means that we are moving into some kind of pre-modern society like today in a new Christian right, Kansas or places like that or Poland or Greece with very right wing and very uh, conservative, I will say, reactionary uh, atmosphere in the society, uh, not uh, putting youngsters most of all uh, forward, but pressing them back into, not middle age, but pressing back into late 18th, 19th century. Have there been changes in the past 10 years or so uh, on the nature of secularism in Serbia, and what, what, what are the political forces that you could identify behind these changes? It started in late 80s during the struggle for fighting for political and economic power, uh, the redistribution of political and economic power in Serbia and all over former Yugoslavia. But uh, the special uh, increasing the speed of clericalization of the society started eight years, eight to nine years ago. And I mean that's the main responsibility of political parties, democratic party by Boris Tadic, Zora Gigi before him, uh, using church and religion as some kind of opportunistic mean in the political struggle by Kostunica's Democratic Party of Serbia, which is a real clerical and I will say also uh, partly fascistic party, uh, using church as a mean of demodernization of the society and uh, re-clericalization of the society by Serbian renewal movement, which is some kind of party revenge party for those who lost the World War II and now trying to win it uh, 50, 60 years later. By indifference uh, of the intellectual part of Serbia, too many of us was just looking at it without doing anything. And by some kind of fear uh, by journalists and uh, teachers around uh, the, in a public opinion generally for what will be the reaction. Would be called communists or something like that, if we say that we don't like church involving into our daily life by the state power, not by our own will, but by pressure from the state and by pressure from the Orthodox Church, which is, which is trying now to use the state to solve their own problems, economic problems, by getting money from the state budget. Their uh, competition with other churches by using police to uh, more or less uh, decide that all others are sects or something like that, and by using educational system to skip any any worries about how to to present their own teaching uh, to to young generation. How how have these changes in the secular nature of the state affected women in Serbia, and what actions are they taking? Well, I know that a lot of women uh, are protesting against that, and I have from my own students. I'm working at the Faculty of uh, Philology, and that's more than 90% are uh, young girls, not, uh, not uh, boys. And they are saying that they are uh, fighting against that in uh, educational system. But the problem is that the church is trying to put them back to the old idea of kitchen, uh, children, and church. And, well, it's nothing wrong in being religious or being in a kitchen or uh, doing something with uh, children or all the day if necessary, but it should be on their own will, not by the pressure from the church on one side and the state on the another side. I'm not afraid that it will make uh, a long-term change in our society, but I'm afraid that it will make a very complicated life for young girls mostly, that we are moving uh, in the direction of Poland or Greece or, as I said, Kansas with uh, some kind of uh, pressure against uh, uh, abortus, against uh, 
modern way of using clothes uh, and so on and so on. Just trying to, to make as patriarchal society as possible and any patriarchal society is uh, pressing mostly women, not men. And that's the problem. Uh, after 10 years with war and 15 to 20 years with crisis, I just want young generation to have their own life and decide by themselves or about what they will do and in which way they will do it. And the church is trying to make an opposite, opposite uh, decision. We as a church will decide what do you, what you should do as a young people. And that's mostly wrong for, seen from my side. Is there anything else you'd like to add on any of those questions? Well, uh, in the long term, the church and the clerical powers in the society will lose that war. Uh, but it can make too many problems. As I said, uh, after 10 years with war, we should skip any kind of intellectual uh, war for our souls. I guess young people and even older people can catch uh, their souls by themselves without any help from the church. What kinds of political or grassroots changes do you see having to take place in order for the church to go back to its proper place. I'm society. not happy to say it, but it is the modern global commercialized society which will pressure, put pressure on the church more than any of us. Then I hope that some parties now will, as Democratic Party, LDP, perhaps skip their uh, boundaries to, to, to church because they see that young people are not so affected by those ideas, except those ex extremely fundamentalistic groups like Dvery, Obras and so on. But I believe that the economic development will put some kind of stop for that expansion, church expansion or uh, the expansion of quasi-religion, not real uh, belief, but the belief under the pressure of the crisis and the war. Uh, secondary, I guess young people will organize sooner or later because uh, they are too modern to, to want to go back to pre-modern society. Okay, my name is Vesna Pesic, I'm PhD in Sociology. I work for the Institute for Philosophy and Social Theory. Now I'm a, a deputy in uh, Serbian Parliament and I'm also active and president of political council in uh, Liberal Democratic Party. Well, all my life I was dealing mostly in the civil society and politics in Serbia. Do you think that Serbia is a secular country? And if so, what does that mean? What does it mean for Serbia to be secular? Well, I think generally Serbia is a secular country. Um, uh, uh, what I have in mind when I say that is that uh, 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 business of, of the state, of government, is separated from church business and uh, tasks the church is doing. But we have sometimes some overlapping you know, between church and, and, and uh, government, and that's why some organizations are criticizing uh, uh, such situation. For example, church um, uh, is used from the state. Uh, it can be both ways. So the state can use church for some business and 